Ashley Roybal and Marvin Alderetti have caught the attention of the New Mexico Attorney General's Retail Crime Task Force. So they were on our radar since November of last year. Um, our task force has really focused on the worst, most violent offenders. According to their arrest warrant, the pair has stolen $20,000 in merchandise from multiple stores in our area, mostly Walmarts. But what's concerning to Attorney General Hector Balderas is the behavior of the couple. They're not just stealing. Uh, when they are getting confronted by either employees uh, or they are near customers, they're brandishing weapons, knives, uh, and really showing a propensity for dangerous conduct. In one instance, the warrant for Alderetti states, when confronted at a Walmart, he pointed a gun at a security guard and asked him, are you willing to die? Baldera says retail crime is becoming big across New Mexico, and he's calling for action. It is a shame that New Mexico, in terms of retail shopping centers, has among the most violent shopping centers in the nation, and that really has to alarm uh, lawmakers. Last legislative session, Republican State Representative Bill Ream called for a retail crime bill. The criminals know that if they steal under $500, it's a misdemeanor, and so there's not going to be any action taken against them. So they they go to one store, they steal under 500 they go to the next store, do the same thing, and then they collect all these items and then start selling them. But the bill didn't pass. Baldera says his retail crime task force will continue to crack down on violent retail offenders. I'm concerned that they're turning parking lots and grocery stores uh, into crime scenes, and I'm concerned that New Mexico is a little bit behind the curve. Marvin Alderetti is being charged with 31 counts and is facing 41 and a half years in prison if convicted. Roy Ball is facing 12 counts and a possibility of 17 years in prison. If you see either of them, you should call law enforcement immediately. I'm John Carnelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. John, thank you. The Retail Industry Leaders Association estimated nearly $1 billion in losses in the state of New Mexico last year.